welcome to this week's edition of the MA Freak Fighter of the Week. I am Matt Salzer, and uh, we're going to go over UFC 214, which was in my backyard. Uh, I live in Orange, and, and uh, the Honda Center is literally is, um, it, it's right across the river from Orange at times. So, um, I'm just going to talk about the televised car, just because of the fact that, you know, there weren't really any big, all oh, the televised uh, pay-per-view just because of the fact that there were really no big names on the prelims. So, um, main event. And uh, I should note that um, I'm actually going to save, um, you know, I'm actually going to give a tie uh, today to the, uh, to the, for, because I just couldn't make up my decision. So, um, it's going to be a tie between John Jones and um, Christiane Cyborg uh, Justino. I'm still used to calling her by her married name, but um, so, anyways, um, main event. Uh, John Jones. What? Uh, let's face it. John Jones. Um, depending on how you judged it, was probably losing that fight up to that point. The first round. The first round was close. I could have seen the judges scoring it either way, because Jones was aggressive in the first part of the. F of the round, and then Cormier a pushed it, or uh, Cormier pushed it the second part of the round. Uh, it was definitely Cormier leading up to that head kick in the second round, uh, and that head kick just goes to show that um, that Jones is definitely you know he he's a multi he's he's a multi capable fighter. Um, I don't know if he was just suffering from ring rust or um what, but either way he um. He definitely, uh, and my, you know, he, he was definitely able to get that head kick in, and you could just tell that Cormier was done. That's the, he, he wasn't out, but he was done. So, uh, yeah, um, so, yeah, um, congrats to John Jones. He, he mounted a career comeback. You know, we've seen athletes who have gone down for something less than that, and he's had multiple... Uh, issues with uh, just in general. So here he is now. He's finally, um, he's finally mounted. He's finally gotten back up to the top of the mountain. He basically, let's face it, he jumped off the mountain. He was at the top of the mountain. He would said the UFC records, all that, and then he j he jumped off the mountain because he's you know he was he was, he's young. He was undisciplined and he just lets everything get the better of him. So he's. But now he's finally back in. Um, he's finally back at the top. And um, the whole intrigue between him calling out Brock Lesnar, that is good. That's going to be interesting. I don't. My understanding is I Brock Lesnar, after WrestleMania next year, his contract is up. So my understanding is he may just not re up it and then after that go into to um M uh, back in MMA again. The problem there though is that he re he needs to finish out that that um that suspension. He needs to say he basically needs to say I'm back into it. At which point the suspension is going to be reinforced. So, but and th but in the meantime, there's other options that John Jones has. He could fight. Uh, he could rematch Alexander Gustafsson. Um. Uh, Vulcan, I can't even pronounce his name. <laughs> uh, you know, he, he might be an option. We'll we'll see how that goes. Either way, and you know, I like the fact that Jones was was humble after afterwards. Um, I don't think you know he didn't owe and he didn't owe anyone an apology. I think he g gave that apology out of sincere um, uh, humility and. Um, so yeah, it's 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 um so yeah, he definitely earned it. Um now I'm going to talk about the fight which um is the reason why overall I give UFC 214 a B plus instead of an A. Why? Because we had one stinker of a fight in Tyrone Woodley versus Damian Maya. And what can I say? Um Woodley was point fighting. Woodley was point fighting. He arguably, I agree with Dana White. There were points where he could have finished the fight, but the fact of the matter is, he was playing it safe. He knew, um, he knew both as a wrestler and a striker, Maya was going to go in and he was going to try and take him down and use his his jiu jitsu. Woodley's goal was to keep the fight standing. That's that's what it was. So, 
you know, whether you agree or disagree, I I have to agree that it was it was a boring fight. But you know, he won the title, or you no, know, he you know he defended his title. He's still the welterweight champion. And you know, there's there's people saying that you know he he's uh you know he's not going to get that money fight with George Saint Pierre. Um, you know, it, it's it is what it is. He did what he needed to do to win the fight. Was it exciting? No, it wasn't. It was a stinker of a fight. But he, he won the belt. So, um, you know, he's not going get, to be getting any rewards for it. But um, then going back to a low, back up to a high, Christiane Cyborg Justino finally getting her feather, UFC feather, Women's Featherweight Championship and winning. And, but, you know, it was, it was good. In, it, to me, that fight was good in two ways. It was, glad, it was good to finally see her get that. And it was also good to see, finally see uh, Tanya Evinger in the UFC as well. She, she's, her debut has been long, long overdue. She should have been in there a while ago. But the problem is you're dealing with, you know, politics. And she's one of those, she's one of those people who, you know, she, she's got a mouth. She, she doesn't really have a filter. I've met both women, and, um, uh, you know, they're, they're both nice women. Uh, like I said, um, you know, Tanya Evinger doesn't really have a filter. You know, at one point, her uh, her Twitter handle consisted of her doing the double bird. I'm not going to do it, but it consisted of her doing the double bird. So, um, you know, Tanya needs to go back down to bantamweight. That's, uh, you know, um, I... How she would do against Amanda Nunez, I don't quite know. Uh, but um, you know, I, she realistically she needs to go back down to bantamweight. That's her. That's her weight class. She's fought all her career at bantamweight. So um, yeah, it was it was good to see her. Uh, it, well, except for maybe that one fight against Gina, but. Well, yeah, it was a good fight. It was uh, nice to see uh, nice to see both women in the UFC. It was nice to see um, you know Cyborg get that shot and may long live the queen. So um, and then from here, I have no idea. Maybe Jermaine Durand may. I don't, I don't I don't know if she ever wants to fight her, considering she basically didn't. She basically, as Joe Rogan put it, she would rather relinquish her title. Than face Cyborg, so I don't know if she's ever going to face her. Um, I think Holly has the guts. Um, you know, it just depends on whether that's what Holly wants to do. And then on top of that, um, you know, Megan Anderson was going to do it before she got injured, so she's definitely up there. Let's see. Um, so there's options. Uh, realistically, the feather UFC featherweight women's featherweight division is being built around Cyborg, just like Ronda. Just like, you know, the bantamweight division was built around Ronda, so um, it'll be built around Cyborg. And from there, it'll be, you know, from there it'll evolve. That's that's how, you know, the women's bantamweight division evolved, is that it finally took someone figuring out how to beat Ronda. And it's it's got a life all of its own. It's going to be that same way with the featherweight division. So, um... Arguably the fight of the night. I it's, I definitely think that that it was a fight of the night. Robbie Lawler versus Donald Cerrone. They went in there, they gave it their all, and they you know they they fought and fought and fought. And it, um, you know they're 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 they, uh, they're two technical brawlers is the way I'm going to describe it. They're two technical brawlers. Either way, it was uh, either way it was a nice fight to watch and I'm um, glad to see them do that. And then um, arguably Jimmy Manua had he won this fight was next in line for the title shot. Um, and you know, he he lost uh, a guy who's Vulcan Whatever the Swiss guy is, but he, um, you know, he lost to a guy who's who's on a winning streak, who's put got some big name fighters under his belt. So, uh, this, we, we'll see how this goes. You know, um, Gustafsson. Sorry, I'm going through a flash. Uh, going through a flash thunderstorm in Southern California in the middle of the summer. This is very atypical, and it's um, yeah, okay. Well, um, so yeah, um, it will, we'll see how this goes. So yeah, um, 
the 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 co fighters of the week are John Jones and uh, Cyber Justino, and I think that it's I think that it's well deserved. Um, I don't usually do that, but this is just one of those things where it's just like I don't want to give one or the other. I think they both deserve it, so I th I, I definitely agree they deserve. I uh, I I think that um, co thing um, co title is is well deserved. So um, yeah, that's that, and um, so. I have finally roughly gotten on track with the with my uh, with my uh, the MMA freak shows. I've I always aimed for Friday, but for the past few weeks it's been kind of off. I'd say I probably got it uh, pretty well done. But um, you know, either way, uh, we'll keep seeing how this goes. I you know I, I always plan for the editing to take place like within a week it so um but you know it's it's spilled over um we'll just see how that goes we will see how that goes so um thank you for watching i uh, hope you so yeah thank you for watching tune in like share and subscribe i'll see you next time